Good morning, this is Marcel from SolarKit and today we are going to install a PV system in Budapest. Uh, Norbert, our CTO and technical engineer, will be leading the installation team and he's also explaining us why Deye, this brand, is a good offer in our B2B portfolio and in uh, the B2C portfolio as well. We visited uh, the factory of Deye in Shanghai, next to Shanghai this year, so I'm very confident that uh, in off-grid system and in hybrid systems this is a great brand. As you can see the weather is a little bit cloudy, hopefully not too rainy. Uh, usually everything goes very smooth and easy so let's see how the installation team uh, handles today and check out the system, talk to the customer and let's see they uh, We have just arrived to the customer and uh, I'm quite confident that after 3000 installations and after five years uh, we know what to do here. But usually we are communicating a lot uh, with the customer during the installation. We have taken the inverter out of the minivan and uh, let's see what the customer has uh, to offer, what kind of questions we need to clarify before starting the real job. Dog. So uh, we have installed the inverter. Now that was the easy part, but uh, it looks quite spectacular. I know it looks uh, very industrial as well and massive, but this is uh, the type of inverter which can go off grid and it's uh, industry leading, for example, in South Africa. So it needs to endure a lot. Usually I'm talking to our CTO. So Norbert, tell us more about this. Uh, right. Why do you recommend this to us and to the customers? Actually, a very big advantage of phase asymmetry is that you can manage the feedback from the load side, not symmetrically one by one, but depending on the consumption. Whichever phase is consuming the power, it feeds back as much as that phase is consuming if we are talking about a zero export system. Obviously, if you are in yearly net metering, it will feed in symmetrically. But if it's already a zero export system, then if you have, let's say, 1, 2, 3 kilowatts of consumption per phase, that's what it's going to feed in and not one kilowatt three times. Okay, got it. But uh, just to clarify and understand very clearly for uh, our average customer, let's illustrate how it looks like. Let's say this is a very classic case. We have a house with three phases. Well, one phase is just lighting, uh -huh, okay. the second phase is a uh, kitchen, and the third phase has air conditioner or heat pump Got or it. boiler as well. Okay, so different equipments, different con power consumptions, right? Let's say you are at home during the day in summer, and we are cooking in the kitchen. The boiler is on, and there are two phases with relatively high consumption, but on the third, where the whole lighting network is, obviously no lighting during the day in summer, consumption will be minimal. Then, a symmetrical feeding system with its minimal consumption is limited down to the smallest consumption. Yeah, yeah, okay, totally understand. Which is obviously not the best option. Okay, so if I understand you correctly, this means th that sometimes PV production can be lost, which is, of course, not an ideal scenario. Okay, so this unbalanced load, it's uh, in net metering on a yearly basis, maybe not so relevant when you have a forward-backward clock. Uh, but, of course, we are always going for uh, reducing self-consumption. Yeah, when we monitor uh, the application of the inverter, usually there is a curve during uh, the production of PV of kilowatt hours. And uh, when a smart meter is installed, like in this specific house, export-import can be examined and monitored quite closely. So you can optimize your consumption, maybe charge your EV during the day. Daya inverters uh, will know how to handle phase asymmetry. 
but I would like to go a little bit deeper into the technical aspects. What does it look like, Norbert? What exactly do you mean? <laughs> yes, so this is an 8 kilowatt peak uh, inverter, yes. Yes, 8 kilowatt inverter. There is a current transformer for all three phases, which measures the consumption at every moment on each phase, and it sets the production depending on how much free energy it has on the DC side that we can use for households to maximize the system usage. Okay, so what is the nominal power in uh, off-grid mode? If it produces 8 kilowatts, then in a zero export system, it can supply 8 kilowatts maximum to the three phases, but it can also supply just to only one phase, which is half of the nominal output power, which is 4 kilowatts into one phase, but it can also distribute uh, in almost any distribution to the three phases if needed. So it can function as a UPS um, in case of a power outage, right? Yes, because it switches over from grid mode to off-grid mode within 4 milliseconds. For example, we can also use it as a UPS. Or if, let's say, the TV is on and there is a power outage, it switches over so fast that we won't notice it in the house, no device will be left without power. Sure, it sounds amazing. Yeah, more and more people are looking forward to that. Uh, AC-DC protection is inside, or you need to install a smart meter as well? That's included. So smart meter is part of the package, good. Yes, only the CTs need to be fitted here, and everything else is included in the package. And the backup box as well. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, so that's a great advantage, and I think a unique selling point comparing to other inverters. It's a very compact story, a lot of things are included, <laughs> and it's uh, almost 40 kilograms, right? Right? 36 kilograms, yeah. Yeah, so 36 kilograms. It comes with 10 years of warranty and we do the repair and uh, warranty exchange as well immediately. Yeah, 10 years. Yeah, it's a hybrid inverter. It can go up to 12 kilowatt and uh, it's a unique selling point that goes with any battery, any type of uh, brand. Uh, also with diesel generators or wind turbines, you can connect to it and it goes smoothly. Yes, it's a very versatile inverter, because if you connect a generator to it, it can automatically start the generator if there is a power outage at night, for example. When you don't have batteries, just solar panels and the generator, and there is a power outage in the evening, obviously we won't be able to generate energy from the solar panels on the roof, it can automatically start the generator and we can get power from that source. Or from the battery. Or from the battery if you have one. Um, yeah, what do the batteries look like? Uh, I think there are two types, right? There are two types of batteries. There is one that's a bit more aesthetic in appearance. The 6.1 kilowatt hour, the standing one, the tall one. You can put together multiple ones on each other. One inverter can handle up to 480 kilowatt hour of batteries. <laughs> so, yeah. 480 kilowatt hours, okay, that's sick. Yes, and there is the standing kind, and there's the Rackman table. Which is more industrial, uh, robust style. What's a bit industrial is the 5.12 kilowatt hour version, as opposed to the 6.14 kilowatt hour. These are the two types available, both are factory made by Deia, but in general you can connect any low voltage lead acid battery to it. Yeah, that's the main advantage. Exactly. Yeah, so last but not least, it's a good value for money. Uh, we are official distributors of Deia at SolarKit and also a repair partner. We recommend it for uh, residential customers and also for uh, industrial and commercial projects. So we just came home from Shanghai, we participated in a big expo and had uh, the luck to visit the factory of Deia in Ningbo. And um, why I like Deia is because it's highly competitive in a big package, you, everything is included, really good support. Yes, when looking at the complete package, the price is indeed very competitive. Although it can be misleading to compare only the inverter with another brand's inverter because this one is including a smart meter, the backup box and the battery management system. Aha, uh -huh, okay. So it's not just an inverter, it's a lot more all-in-one package. Okay, you can find us at uh, the website solarkit.eu and also we have a webshop up and running for B2B customers in the wholesale business line. But our business development managers and technical engineers can help you design your PV project and uh, we help you as a distributor also with the installation, with training and with sales. 
I think uh, nowadays needs, uh, especially in off-grid mode or hybrid mode, it's uh, well served by Deye and by this brand. You yes. can do uh, self-sufficiency, you can lower so your self-consumption. And the main goal, of course, is to go fully on PV. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about the software and the smartphone application. It's very important for us and for the customers as well. This is how we ensure that uh, the PV functions really well for years. Yes, they also have a monitoring interface, mobile application and a web platform, so we can remotely track the entire system's production at all times. Additionally, there is a display unit that continuously shows the energy from the grid, the solar panels, the generator, and practically everything on its small screen. This can be also monitored remotely. And of course, support works through us in the same way, whether it's warranty processing or anything else that's included. Yes, our installation warranty is for five years. And if you have any questions or problems, please email us at b2b at solarkit.eu and we uh, get in contact with you. Norby, thank you very much for today. You're very welcome. Let's see how it works out. So thank you very much for joining us today. I think we successfully installed the PV system. We got uh, a good customer feedback and we introduced the Daya system with batteries and with inverters to you. I hope you enjoyed uh, today's video and see you next time. <laughs>